Hey everyone, in this tutorial we are going to look at SQL Server and how to create database for SQL Server using C Sharp. Um, most of the syntax will probably look familiar since we already did SQLite tutorial, but uh, there will be some differences too. So, because SQL Server is a full blown database management system, so Let's go ahead and start with our project. This is going to be a console application. Um, you can apply the same logic to WinForms and WPF, but um, maybe as we go along, I'll convert to WPF. Um, but having said that, I'm going to select console app, .NET Framework and click Next. I'm just going to add the word SQL to the beginning of this application and change the solution name to SQL Tutorial. Okay, create. Okay, our project was prepared for us. Right off the bat, I'm going to need two namespaces. Okay, one of them is going to be system data. And the other one is going to be system data SQL client. Okay, so now that we have our namespaces in place, we are going to continue with creating our first method to create the database. Okay, so static void. I'm going to call this create DB. Okay, first I'm going to declare a few variables. Uh, so start with string. This is going to represent connection string. So let's call this connection string. And we'll set this to. Okay, we need a data source. And it's going to be localhost semicolon, integrated security, SSPI, all caps, semicolon, initial catalog, and it's going to blank for now. Okay. Uh, next, I'm gonna need a SQL statement same string also let's say um, cmd text um okay this is going to be um, lowercase uppercase doesn't matter so create database that's the command this is similar to SQLite. If you have seen my SQLite tutorial, the syntax is similar or almost identical. And the name of the database. So I'm going to call this my test DB. Okay. Then let's create an instance of the SQL command. So SQL command, actually, SQL 
connection. SQL connection equals new SQL connection. And we'll pass in our connection stream, which is our connection. We we'll call it connection stream up here. Okay. All right. Next, I'm going to check whether the connection is open or not. So if um, SQL connection that's state is not open connection state that open okay if it's not open then we want to open it SQL connection dot open okay all right so once we open we need the command SQL command so Let's create an instance, SQL command, SQL command, let's use the suggested names to make life easier, new SQL command, and we'll pass in, I think we have an overload version that takes the command text, second one, so We'll pass in the CMD text right here. Okay. Um, next, we need to run the command. So, SQL command dot execute non query. Okay, let's um, add some console.write lines to check while, while things happening. So after this open, we want to type in, um, we want to show that the connection is open. Okay. And then right after this execution, we want to display database created. Okay, and then we need to close the database. So SQL connection dot close, and just like any other external files or databases, we want to really enclose this stuff inside a try catch block. So I'm gonna take split some of this stuff and place inside try catch block okay and for the exception I want to display the exception if it happens so I want to display on the screen e that message if you run into exception it's going to display and then finally we want to place this inside the finally block and we want to close the connection no matter what. Okay. And that's it. So if we haven't made any typos, once we run this, we should create a database. Okay. So I'm going to call this method create db and then I want to run a console.write line or read line so that the window doesn't close. Okay, I think we are good. Okay, let's uh, build this and run it. See what happens. So build a solution. No errors. Okay, let's go ahead and run this. Mm. 
mm -mm. connection property has not been initialized mm. okay I made a mistake okay uh, for the SQL command we have to pass in the connection object as well I believe comma SQL connection yep <clears throat> that's why we got the exception so that's why we put inside the try cache block anyway when we were on to exception we want to catch it okay let's run this one more time all right the connection is open database created and that's it we didn't print out for connection closed I should have added another line here as to the connection is closed, but it's too late. But if you are following up, um, following the example, you can go ahead and do that. Okay. All right. So let's check if our database actually created. So the name of our database again is my test DB. So this is going to create the database in default location and that's located in program files um, if you're running anything other than Windows 10 it may be inside the program files the well um, with Windows 10 we have two of them one is x86 the other one is program files so I'm gonna go into this one here And then we are looking for Microsoft SQL Server folder. And from here, we are going to go into MS SQL 15. Dot yada yada yada. So this number may change depending on version, but this is the folder we are going in. And once again, MS SQL. All right, from here, we are going to go in data folder where our databases are listed okay so this is our database we just created ldf and mdf files okay two files that make up our database all right so that's one way of creating our database now let's do another example with a little more customized version of this okay so this is going to be another string variable i'm going to call it cmd text 2 and start typing so once again create database i'm gonna call this database my shop and on primary open parents name it's going to be let's call this my shop underscore dot comma this name shows up in SQL Server. It's not the actual file name. The actual file name actually is the file name that we are going to specify now. This is going to be between single codes. I'm going to copy a folder name. So I'm going to go to my um, desktop data folder I'm gonna use this folder to store the database so I'm copying the folder and paste in between my single codes then add extra escape character to get rid of the error with this backslashes And then name of the file, which is going to be my shop DB. I mean my shop MDF. Okay, this is going to be the data file. Next, I'm going to specify the size of the file. Again, this is a little more customized, gives you more control. Let's say I want this to be 10 megabyte in size. 
max size I want this to be let's say uh, 20 you can define the megabytes or kilobytes here if you don't define by default I think it's megabytes uh, file growth can be in percentages or megabytes so if I say 10% that's going to be percentage if I don't specify the percentage it's going to be megabytes okay so that's the data files let's close the prints and next I'm going to do the same thing for the log files so the keyword I'm going to use log on open parens again let me break this string from here so we can see what's going on all right same thing name I'm gonna call this my shop underscore log comma file name I'm gonna copy and paste from here and just change the file name So from MDF to LDF, come on, then size, I can say five, max size, 10, and file growth, one. And close the uh, parents and close the statement. Okay, our statement is ready. Now I can, instead of using the first statement, I'm going to use a second statement. And that's going to create my shop database over here in this folder with specified sizes. Okay, let's go ahead and run this. Oops, I think I made a mistake over here without realizing extra backslash that was unnecessary let's run this again all right connection is open database created and connection is closed perfect let's check our folder and there you have it our MDF and LDF files so now let's check the file sizes Okay, this one is 10 megs, and this one should be 5 megs. And there you have it. Okay, so those are the couple of ways that you can create the database using C Sharp. Okay, of course, these are not the only two ways, but that's it for now. Until the next one, take it easy.